Hey guys, my name is Kirby Downey. Welcome to another awesome video. Um, this is kind of like, I'd say, part two of Boston Adventures. I think I'm going to call that that. Boston Adventures. Um, the previous video, I kind of just showed you what I got up to at the SolidWorks 2017 launch event, as well as what's new in SolidWorks 2017, mainly focusing on the kind of work that I do and the kind of things that I do. So. I didn't tell too much about what's new in SOLIDWORKS drawings or SOLIDWORKS PDM or anything like that because it doesn't really pay, pertain to what I do and the way that I use SOLIDWORKS. In this video I'd like to explain and just talk about how SOLIDWORKS has first of all become a little bit more accessible to people that want to start a business or people that, want to, that are hobbyists that just want to use SOLIDWORKS every now and then and not for professional use. SOLIDWORKS is a very expensive package and because it has so much in it, there is, it is such a powerful software. Um, if I'm not mistaken, the SOLIDWORKS basic um, goes for about $2,700 per year. Now for anyone starting a business or anyone being a hobbyist or anything, that is a lot of money to fork out at one go for a software that you're not going to use that much or maybe your business you don't have enough capital for it so there's two ways that SOLIDWORKS helps out with this now now with SOLIDWORKS 2017 they've introduced a new kind of like payment thing it's called term payment if I'm not mistaken what this means is that you can now pay for your SOLIDWORKS license per month as opposed to a yearly payment of $2,700 you know, that just helps out so much more makes it a lot more affordable for you know quite a few more people so it works out at about $225 a month it's still quite a bit but it is a lot more manageable and a lot more accessible to that to the everyday hobbyist or the average person this is also great for some companies that are only going to use SOLIDWORKS for three months or so or if you're doing a project for six months, you only have to pay for six months worth of that um, instead of a full year, which is really, really cool. I like it. It just makes so much sense. Now with this, it isn't a cloud-based service. It isn't like the Adobe system. You get the full package of SOLIDWORKS, including support, and all you do is you just pay every month. There's no upfront cost either, which is fantastic. The other way is that if you're starting a new business or you, you know, an entrepreneur, you can apply for the Entrepreneurs Program. I think it's called Entrepreneurs Program or SolidWorks for Starters. Um, basically, you can apply to them, register your your business, and explain to them how you're going to be using SolidWorks and a full, extensive business plan, a three-year business plan, to them. What they'll do is they'll then review it and if you get approved you will get SOLIDWORKS for free for a year and then after that obviously you'd have to pay for your licensing but it just helps out for that first year of your company where you can focus your money investment to be mainly on the product as opposed to the software packages which is also fantastic um, so this is a new program so that they've started a little while back so Go check it out if you want to use SOLIDWORKS for a startup and you've got any plans. SOLIDWORKS is also partnered with FabLab, so SOLIDWORKS soon will be available to use in FabLab for members. So for a couple, for I think it's the FabLab by me is about 30, 30 pounds a, a month. So if you've got a FabLab subscription and you pay your membership, you have access to SOLIDWORKS, a fully licensed SOLIDWORKS package at your local FabLab. Which is another way to make it accessible to that one person, you know, those people who are working by themselves, people who can't afford a full package. And then with SolidWorks, you also get My SolidWorks, and they've now got My SolidWorks training with over a thousand tutorials to teach you how to use SolidWorks. And if you're interested also in getting hold of SolidWorks, giving it a try, you're not willing to invest that money. If you get hold of any SOLIDWORKS reseller, 
you should be able to get yourself a 30-day trial to give it a try. See what you can do with it and see whether or not it is the package for you. So, as a hobbyist and how SolidWorks could integrate with hobbyists, is, it would be really cool if they had a hobbyist package, you know, a bare to the bones version of SolidWorks where all you do in it is you model it and maybe even slice in it. Um, you don't need all the PDM and the um, simulation and visualize and all that peripherals. You know, if, if you're going to use it just for modeling and assemblies, you know, they should have a package with just that and have that for a reasonable price for everyday hobbyists. What would be really cool also is and they, they are busy introducing this and that's using SolidWorks online, you know, using online servers to process instead of your local uh, computer. Because unfortunately, once you've got SolidWorks, you also have to have a decent computer to be able to run SolidWorks very well. Um, so I mean, if they get this online service to work so that you can use a notepad, you know, a, a notebook or a, you know, a, a cheaper, not as powerful computer with all you need is your internet connection and you can run SOLIDWORKS to its full potential. I'm very limited in mine because I've only got an i3 processor, I need an i5 or better to run efficiently. So this is a cool way that also makes it a bit more affordable because you don't need to pay a huge amount or a monthly fee as well as buying a new computer to run it. <clears throat> Listening to the talks there, SOLIDWORKS plan is full integration, you know, working seamlessly from a robot, from, from a manufacturer to the final product. And this makes so much sense with 3D printing. Say your 3D printer is designed in SOLIDWORKS and your part is designed in SOLIDWORKS. You should be able to take that part, tell it you're gonna make it on this machine and SOLIDWORKS knows that machine, it's been, the machine's been designed in SOLIDWORKS and it just works together and pops out a G code slap it into your printer and it's done you know full integration you know no need to go back and forth between a slicer you know make your model click a button check your overhangs which they actually have already um, that system um, add in some support change your support all within solidworks and then export it to your sd card within solidworks and on your machine you know one you know one software to do it all you know, one software that is both affordable to a hobbyist or, you know, and if, if they integrate this into a hobbyist version as well, you know, that's all you need. You need SolidWorks and that's it. And it's a whole new era of CAD design and, you know, the capability of SolidWorks far surpasses any of the free softwares that you get um, in terms of what you can do. I mean, you can do a lot of incredible things in these free softwares but you've really got to be patient, you've really got to know what you're doing with those softwares. Where SolidWorks, you don't need it and you get support to teach you how to do this. I mean, there's tons of tutorials online. So, I hope this opens your eyes into SolidWorks, makes you a bit intrigued into it and you want to get involved. Check out a local reseller if you want to get a 30-day trial. Um, let me know what you think about the term payment. There's quite a bit of discussion about that at the event. Let me know if having the startup program will help out a lot of companies. I would love to hear your opinions about this in the comment section down below. Please like and share in this video and please subscribe to my channel for more awesome content. I'll see you guys in the next one.